Welcome to another fun learning experience in health here at Anubansom Det Prawanarat School online class. My name is Teacher Marco and I hope that everyone is safe and healthy. Today, we're gonna have a brand new lesson and it's all about sexual harassment. Are you ready? Are you excited? I cannot hear you. Are you ready? Great! Let's go! Sexual harassment may happen unexpectedly, so we should avoid any situation that can lead us to it. Before we begin, it's important to know the definition of sexual harassment. So, what is sexual harassment? Sexual harassment, it is the behavior which breaks human sexual rights, no matter by word, sight, or gesture. Sexual harassment also includes relation and rape. Sexual harassment is a type of harassment involving the use of explicit or implicit sexual overtones, including the unwelcome and inappropriate promise of rewards in exchange for sexual favors. Sexual harassment also includes a range of actions from verbal transgressions to sexual abuse or assault. Sexual harassment can occur in many different social settings such as the workplace, the home, school, churches, etc. Harassers or victims may be of any sex or gender. Sexual harassment can be divided into three types as follows. And the first type of sexual harassment is about verbal sexual harassment. It refers to sexually suggestive remarks or obscene or insulting sounds. It includes unwelcome and offensive names or terms of endearment, such as honey, bun, or boobsy. Now, let's learn the different verbal sexual harassment. Making sexual comments about person's looks and clothing. Using sexual words to flirt with somebody. Telling sexual jokes or stories. These are the most common verbal sexual harassment that can happen to you in any place, such as school, workplace, or even in your house. It can happen to you. In most jurisdictions, when a defendant intentionally inflicts emotional or verbal abuse on a plaintiff, the plaintiff can sue and recover damages for the emotional pain and suffering they endured as well as for physical problems caused by the abuse. Now, let's learn the nonverbal sexual harassment. Nonverbal sexual harassment, it is using sexually suggestive visuals, making sexual gestures with the hands or through body movements, using facial expressions such as winking, throwing kisses, or licking lips. We have three kinds of nonverbal sexual harassment, and the first one is staring at private organs such as woman's breast. Next, we have showing sexual pictures. Lastly, taking sexual pictures and showing the sexual organs. These three types of nonverbal sexual harassment are the most common nonverbal sexual harassment that can happen to anyone. If you're being harassed and you feel you're in danger, you can contact the police. If you think you're being harassed, 
because of your disability, race, religion, transgender identity, or sexual orientation, you can report the harassment to the police as a hate incident or crime. Lastly, we have the nonverbal sexual harassment or physical. Physical harassment is an act where someone inappropriately touched you against your will. The most common forms related to physical harassment include sexual assault or abuse or sexual rape. Inappropriately touching or grabbing someone, example, touching someone's breast intentionally. Nonverbal sexual harassment. Now, let's learn the kinds of nonverbal sexual harassment or physical sexual harassment. Holding and kissing and touching others when they do not allow. Next, raping or forcing others to have sexual intercourse. These are the two most common physical sexual harassment that is very rampant in today's society. Generally, harassment is a crime and can lead to a possible case against the person or the company when it becomes physical. These can extend to both violent incidents and sexual harassment. Have you ever wondered how does sexual harassment affect someone? Victims of sexual harassment can suffer significant psychological effects, including anxiety, depression, headaches, sleep disorders, weight loss or gain, nausea, lowered self-esteem, and sexual dysfunctions. The most effective weapon against sexual harassment is prevention. Harassment does not disappear on its own. In fact, it is more likely than when the problem is not addressed. The harassment will worsen and become more difficult to remedy as time goes on. I hope you learned something from today's discussion. Thank you for watching. This is Teacher Marco. Have a great day and don't forget to smile. See you again in our next online class. Bye-bye!